Testing, one, two. Testing, one, two. Good night. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos. Hello, Bessie. Hello. Okay, good. We're ready to start. All right, I want yes. to show you uh, something that we were practicing yesterday. We were doing lesson 4.12, a modifiers with participle and preposition. So let's let's watch the video and then i have some exercises that that we're going to do y así nos da un poquito de tiempo para que para que se conecten los demás okay very good so we were looking at this and we, we said that you can use a participle or you can use a preposition to answer for example who's raul 
he's the man wearing a green shirt okay here wearing ing verb and ing is not showing action it's showing description which one is raul he's the one talking uh, for example here with the preposition we use it's like in spanish we say uh quien es quien es el jefe el que el que tiene puesto una camisa verde verdad o el que tiene puesta la camisa verde so it's the same with english you say he's the man or the woman with short black hair okay or for example you can say which one is julia she's the tall one in jeans who are the smiths they are the people next to the window which ones are the smiths they're the ones on the couch so you can use here a participle or preposition okay so i have a, a presentation that i want to show you so that we can do it together para ilustrar ese, ese punto. For example, here you have uh, a person, okay? And she's next to the window. So, if someone says or asks you, sorry, who is Jane? She's the one standing by the window, okay? So, I'm using standing, verb, and ing, juntos, for description. <laughs> Or you can use preposition. She's the woman by the window. She's the woman next to the window. Okay. By significa por or al lado de. She's the woman by the window. Okay. So you can use preposition. Okay. Preguntas allí? No. Okay. Do you have questions, Carlos? No. Okay. Let's do another example. If I ask you, ahora usen ustedes su propia descripción. Who is Jane? Bessie, how can you answer that question? Who is Jane? Okay. If I ask you. She is the one with the orange, it, it's not teacher, it's blouse, right? Blouse, mm -hmm. blouse. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. She's the one with the orange blouse. The orange blouse. So you use preposition, very good. Okay. Uh, Carlos, if I ask you, who is Jane? Maria uh, <coughs> said she is her hair. Uh, she wore uh, black skirt. She's wearing. I think I can use ing. Uh, okay. she's, she's wearing. Yes, wearing. she's she's the one wearing a black she's skirt. She's the one wearing. Okay. Yes, very good. So you have to use <laughs> ing. Okay, very good. Okay, here you can practice with some prepositions. Who is Mike? And we have a picture here of Mike. Imagine that you go to the library. Y tú le preguntas a un amigo, hey, ¿quién es Mike? Who is Mike? You can say, he is the man, blank the book. What can you say? How can you finish that? He is the man, blank the book. He's the man, blank the book. What can you what can you use there? In the library. Mm -hmm. He is the man. Land the book in the library? No. Uh, he's the man. Puede decir he's the man reading the book. Reading the book. Mm -hmm. Puede usar ahí el participle, sí. No, no, no hay ningún problema con eso. También puedes usar prepositions, yes? Mm -hmm. He's the man with. 
with the book. El hombre con el libro. Uh -huh. He's the man with the book. Very good. Another answer can be, who is Mike? He's the man, blank, the brown jacket. He is the man wearing the uh -huh. brown jacket. También, yes. Or he's the man with the brown jacket. With the brown jacket. También. Okay, another answer, who is Mike? He's the man, blank, the table. Next to. Uh-huh, what I said, he's the man next to the table, yes. He's the man, puede decir on the table, pero se debe entender que no está encima de la mesa, sino que está. He's the man next to the table, he's the man in the table, he's the man next, by the table, also. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the last one, who is Mike? He's the man, blank, the bookshelf. Do you know what a bookshelf is? Como, oh, yeah. un librera. Librera, uh -huh. Uh -huh. By. He's the man by the bookshelf. Uh-huh, very good. Oh, he's the man behind the bookshelf. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can say that too. He's the man behind the bookshelf. Very good, very good. So you're using prepositions, right, to describe. Okay, um, also you can use here, practice with the participle, the verb ing. Who is John? He's the man blank. Finish the sentence. You have to use running? a verb. He's the man running. Yes, very good. What else? Puedes usar otra palabra, sí? Wearing? Wearing. Who is John? He's the man. Wearing a white sweater. Yes, very good. Who is John? He's the man with the black shorts. Uh -huh. Carlos, ¿me puedes dar una? Uh, he's the man wearing Uh, a white t-shirt. Okay, good. All right, very good. Let's go to another one. Using the same verb ing. Who is James? He's the man. Ask, asking. Ah, repeat. Asking, creo que. He is the man ask, asking. Okay, well said. He's the man asking. Uh, what about talking? Uh, talk, talking. talking. Mm -hmm. Who is James? He's the man talking to the women. Okay. Podemos usar también wearing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you mm -hmm. describe his clothes? Yeah. Who is, is James? He is the man wearing a blue t-shirt and yes. a black jeans. Good, good, excellent. Good job. Okay, next. Who is Tom? Finish the sentence. He is the one having a coffee. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Who is Tom? He is the one with the cell phone on, with a cell phone. Okay, you can say with the cell phone, very good. Who is Tom? He's the one drinking coffee. Drinking okay. coffee. <laughs> okay, good job. Okay. I want to show you something here, okay? Eh, es, es para expander un poquito esta lección. Aunque no, no está completamente en la plataforma, no me quiero desviar de la plataforma, pero sí les quiero dar como una herramienta. Okay, sometimes you can use past participles with ED. 
to describe how people feel, okay? Or you can use present participle ing, es el que estamos usando ahorita, to describe something that causes feelings, okay? So I want to go here to this exercise. Yo sé que lo, lo vamos a poder hacer sin problema. Okay, very good. So only 10 questions that we can do together. It says here, la misma regla, past participles ed um, to describe how people feel and the present participle ing mm -hmm. to describe something that calls the feelings. So let, let's try. Number one, we walked by the damaged bridge. Do you see? <clears throat> damaged bridge. Es decir, caminamos al lado del puente que estaba dañado. Mm -hmm. We walked. We walked by the damaged bridge. Very good. Let's see, number two. Lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande. Okay, number two. The news was blank to his reputation. The news was damaged to his reputation or damaging to his reputation? Damaging. Damaging. To his repu uh -huh, reputation. Yes. Es decir, la noticia fue dañina a su uh -huh. reputación. Very good. Number three. I found the song to be very blank. It made me feel calm. Calm. I found the song to be very relaxed. Relaxed or relaxed? Primera. La primera crees. Okay. Sí. Sí. Uh, I found the song to be very relaxing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Number four. There were a lot of blank people in the room after the troublemaker left. The troublemaker really? is like the person that was <coughs> causing the problem. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of blank people in the room after the troublemaker left. Relieved, relieving. Relieved. Relieved. There were right? a lot of relief people in the room. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Number five, he has a blank father who cares for him deeply. He has a lovely A lovely father. Yes, very good. Number six, they seemed really irritated or irritating by the joke. They seem really How did they feel? Irritating. Irritated. Very good. Irritated. Very good. Okay. Number seven. His sense of humor can be pretty irritating or irritating. He seems humor pretty irritated. His sense of humor can be pretty. Irritating. Okay. Number eight. The band's last album was disappointed or disappointing? It's speaking about the, the album. The disappointed. The band's last album was disappointing because you're describing something, okay? Okay. 
whenever you're describing something, you use ing. Number nine, he was pretty happy to hear such encouraged words or encouraging words. He was, he was happy. happy to hear such encouraged words or encouraging voice words. Encouraging words. Encouraging. That's correct. Good, good. The candidate felt candidate felt. satisfied with the result or satisfying with the result. He felt <laughs> Satisfied with the results or satisfying with the results? Candidate felt satisfied. Felt satisfied. satisfied. Uh huh. Correct. Se sintió satisfecho. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, let's check. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, I think it, all of them are correct, if I'm not mistaken. Show answers. Okay, I just want to show you this because remember, participles, but it said past participles or present participles. Now, we are using present participles to describe uh, a person. So let's go back to the, to the presentation, okay? Who is Jane? She's the woman where, with the red hair. Yeah, right? You can say it, right? Mm -hmm. Who is Jane? She's the woman next to the window, okay? I can use that to describe. Okay. Eh, ¿Quién más está aquí? Ada, bienvenida. Bienvenida. Eh, ¿Has estado trabajando la plataforma? Sí. ¿Por dónde está? La sección 4, iniciándola. Ok, ok, very good. Esta es la última lección de la sección 4, entonces estoy un poquito adelantado. Pero, eh, de hecho estamos bien, porque ya solo falta la semana que viene y así terminamos la última sección. Ok, very good. So, congratulations um, por llegar hasta aquí. Muchos ya tomaron el examen, right? El midterm. Y muchos ya lo pasaron el midterm. So, congratulations, ¿ok? Viene un examen final que está al final de la sección número 5. Recuerden, la sección número 5 número tienen que hacer el trabajo y también el examen final, que es eh, un poquito más largo. ¿Ok? Very good. So, eh, creo que nos podemos ver aquí, uno al otro. Eh, si puede, ve si activar su cámara, si puede, ¿ok? Es, es que mi computadora está dañada la cámara, ah, tengo okay. que cambiar. Ok, Sí, yo por okay. eso no he logrado conectarme con cámara. Ok, no hay problema. Vaya, este, creo que pueden ver mi, el color de mi camisa, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Ok. So, if I ask you, Carlos, right, eh, If I ask you, ¿verdad? Aquí podemos ver a Ada. Y I, if I ask you, who is Ada? ¿Quién es ella? ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde está? No la conozco. Who is Ada? What can you use to describe her? Ella es la, la chica con pelo <laughs> described. Who is Ada? Carlos, ¿estás ahí? Eh, sí. Eh, para singular sería woman o... Sí, woman. 
She's the woman. She's the woman. Uh, she's the woman uh, with the black hair. Ajá, ¿qué, te, qué, se, qué, qué olvidaste ahí? La preposición. Uh -huh. <laughs> ok, está bien, solo ponerle la preposición. She's the woman. Se te olvidó la preposición. <laughs> With. With. Uh -huh. She's the woman. She's the woman with. With the. Black hair. Ahí está. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Sí, sí puedes. Es una preposición. <laughs> sí puedes, ¿verdad? Yeah, just a little practice. Es que si, es que si solo sí, lo hacemos... Es, es que si no le pongo el wig, no tendría sentido. Exacto, ajá. Uh -huh. like, like in Spanish, you say, eh, ella es la persona con pelo negro. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, sí, correcto. Con, ok, very good. Ada, oh, no, eh, preguntarle, eh, Carlos, a Ada, preguntarle tú. Preguntarle yeah. sobre mí. Who is the teacher? Ah, ok. Ada. Who, who is the teacher? Puedes decir, he's the person or the man. He's, he's, he's the man. He's the man with the... T-shirt, no. Blue? Blue? Blue T-shirt. Blue T-shirt. Mm -hmm. he's, he's the man with T-shirt blue? No, T-shirt blue, no. Primer, primero el color. Blue? Blue T-shirt. Yes. Very good. Okay, Betsy, if I ask you, Betsy, who is Carlos? Who is Carlos? He is the one with the great teacher. Ahí está. There you go. Okay. And you can change, right? You can change. All right, let's practice it. Ya, ya tienen la idea, como es. Okay? Yes. I want you to practice. All right, let's say, I'm going to uh, uh, have my glasses, okay? Si quieren tener algún objeto allí, okay? I'm going to have my glasses. Okay? So, Betsy, ask Carlos Mendez, who is the teacher? Carlos, who is the teacher? He is the man with the glasses. Yes, very good. Very good. Or you can say another way, Betsy, to say, change it. Uh, who is Carlos? No, who is, yes, who is mm -hmm. Carlos? He's the man, or he's the one, and remember the verb, ing? You can use Hi. the verb, ing. Mm -hmm. He's the one who is studying English. Yes, very good. Okay, or you can say, he's the man, wearing the blue shirt mm. or he's he's the one wearing the black glasses mm -hmm. yes right you can change it okay very good carlos no tenés allí una una gorra por allí gorra gorra o lentes no tengo una una pequeñita okay pero Okay. What is it? Okay, uh, it's lipstick. A, it's a lipstick. What is it? The file. No, it's a pillow. The file. Ah, a marker. Say marker. Excuse ah, me. It's a permanent. Okay, very good. Permanent marker. Very good. So I can use with or wearing. Okay, Betsy. Who is Carlos Mendez? Who is 
Carlos Jiménez. He is the man with the black, um, with the black, ay, se me ha ido, gorra. Hat. <laughs> with the black hat. <laughs> you can say hat or you can say cap. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, uh, let's see. Eh, Carlos, eh, creo que Ada tenía un, un marker. ¿Viste enseñar el, 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 el marker? Ahí está. Es un permanent marker. Ok, very good. Okay. Carlos, who is Ada? Who is, perdón. She is the woman with the permanent eh, pilot. Okay, okay. Or market, mark, marker, marker. Okay, very good. So, así podemos usar la prepositions or you can use the participle, present participle, ing. Okay, very good. So, um, we had an exercise that we can do. Uh, I'm going to share my computer screen with you. Uh, let's go to the exercise. Uh, 4.13, 4.13. This was a knowledge check activity. And it was, a, it was a little difficult, you know, but you can do it. So here you have two sentences. You have to put them together using the preposition or the present participle, ing. Clark is the tall guy, punto. Ahí está una, una oración. He's wearing a bottom button-down shirt and cargo pants. How can I put it together? Cuatro, tres. Clark is the tall guy wearing a button. Y después escribo todo como está. Button down shirt and cargo pants. Very good. Voy a poner el punto. Creo que así me, me va a funcionar. Ok, very good. Um, hay no solamente una forma de escribir, creo que la, la, aquí la plataforma nos da algunas opciones. So, escribamos nosotros aquí y después revisamos. Algunos tal vez ya lo hicieron, pero para, para estar seguro. Number two. Adam and Luis are the good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. How can I put it together? Sí. Sé que tengo que escribir lo primero. Adam and Louise are the good looking couple. Finish? Aquí me están dando el verbo, ¿verdad? Talking. So, ¿Cómo sería? Uh, Adam. Adam and Luis. Aquí estoy uni uniendo las dos oraciones uh -huh. usando el lo que me está dando ahí, el, pre, el present participle, me está dando el verbo con ing. Igual como el ejercicio que hicimos. Ok, le, le voy a dar un ejemplo. Okay, okay, okay. Example. Uh, mm -hmm. Who are the Smiths? I'm talking about more than one person, right? Mm -hmm. Estoy hablando de la familia. <coughs> who, who are the Smiths o, o una pareja? Una familia de Smiths. Who are the Smiths? They are the couple 
talking to the uh, bartender. Do you know what a bartender is? El que sirve los tragos, okay? They are the couple talking to the bartender. ¿Qué hice? Use ing. Okay. So, eso es lo que tienen que hacer aquí. Adam and Luis are the good looking couple. Punto. They are talking to Tom. So, ¿cómo puedo juntar eso? Adam and Luis mm -hmm. are the couple mm -hmm. talking with, with Tom. Yes. Uh, talking to Tom. Talking to Tom. Okay, very good, very good. Ahí está. Number three. Lynn is the young girl. She is in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Lynn is the young girl. So, sé que tengo que escribir la primera parte. Lynn is the young girl. The young girl. Ahora tengo que usar la preposición. Young girl. Voy a usar la que ya está aquí. ¿Cuál es la preposición que está aquí? In. 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 A. Y después sigo escribiendo. Stripe t-shirt. And blue jeans. Ok. Very good. Le lo voy a leer otra vez. Lynn is the young girl. Ahí está la primera parte de la primera oración. Y después brinco a la preposición. In a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Very good. Number four. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. Put it together. Jessica is the attractive woman left mm -hmm. to Antonio. Okay, okay, very good. Let me let me write it. Jessica is the attractive, the attractive woman. woman. Sitting. See? Woman. Sitting. Uh -huh. Sitting to the left of Antonio. To the left. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Number five. AJ is a serious looking boy. He's listening to his new salsa CD. So, voy a escribir la primera parte, así como está. AJ is the serious looking boy. And then, and, y después, Carlos, ¿qué sigue? Eh, and, and, ¿Es el listening? Ajá, ¿qué está haciendo el boy? What is he doing? Escuchando, escuchando. Listening. Listening to his new salsa CD. Ahí está. Ok. Now, espero que estén correctas. No sé que escribí, que escribí algo mal. Ok. Maybe, maybe I wrote something wrong. AJ. Ah, creo que aquí no lo escribí junto. Es en mayúscula. Ah, uh -huh. con... Ahí está. Uh -huh. okay. La primera, como era teacher, quiero ver. Clark is the tall guy. Clark Where? is the tall guy wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. Punto. Shirt. Cargo pants. Okay. Number two is Adam and Louise mm -hmm. are the good looking couple. Y después brinco al verbo talking to Tom. Punto. 
Number three. Looking couple. Lynn is the young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Number four. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. So, so, prácticamente estoy escribiendo lo mismo. Después de la primera oración completa, brinco a la preposición o al verbo ing, que es el participle. AJ mm -hmm. is the serious looking boy Bye. listening to his new salsa CD. All right. Good job. Good job. Questions? No. ¿Ya lo hiciste, Carlos? ¿Esa parte? No, ahorita voy por la 4.7. Ok, 4. ya casi, 7. Ya casi ya llegaste casi. ahí. Entonces, recuérdate ir a la plataforma YouTube y ver este video si tienes problema. Ok. Ok, Ada, tú puedes ver este video. Este video es el número 12. La clase número 12, son 16, solo nos faltan 4. 4 clases. Y pueden ver el video otra vez si tienen preguntas. Ok. Ok, thanks. All right. Es que ahora me preguntaron bastante sobre esta sección. Mm -hmm. Y no quería dar toda la respuesta de un solo. Si no, no. Ok, very good. Let's go now to a uh, next section. I want to go to section number five. And let's see. A ver qué nos espera. Section number five dice, In this lesson, you will learn about the present perfect. Present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. All right, so, eh, vale la pena repasar los, los tiempos de verbo que ustedes han tenido hasta este punto. So, let me see. Okay, very good. Okay, first, ¿cuántos verbos hay en inglés? ¿Cuántos tiempos de verbos? Hay en inglés. No sé si ustedes han, nunca se han preguntado eso. No. ¿Cuántos hay? Ok. Voy a hacer un cuadrito. Me voy a tomar solo un, un ratito, pero le, le va a servir a ustedes. Ok. Me, me hubiera querido que estuvieran aquí otros, pero. Ok. So, past, present. Ok. Very good. All right, so, voy a tratar lo mejor que pueda. Este va a ser the verb tense, el tiempo. Okay. Past, present, future. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, para repasar, eh, aprendimos el simple, el simple, ¿verdad? El simple tiene tres, tres tiempos. El simple past, simple present, simple future. Okay, maybe you remember, I, el simple past, I played... What is it? I watched TV. Do you remember? Yeah? ¿Ya se acuerdan? Es el verbo con ED. ED. Mm -hmm. Hay algunos que son irregulares. ¿Se acuerdan? Como el pasado de go. Yes. Went. ¿Cuál es el pasado de go? Went. Went. Ajá. Esos son irregulares. No se pueden... Eh, I went. Ajá. No se pueden poner en el pasado... Eh, sola, simplemente con la E de al final, sino que hay que escribirlo de otra forma. Okay. Entonces, ¿cuál sería el present simple? I watched. I watched TV. Okay. 
TV. Very good. A future. ¿Cuál sería el future? I will, will watch. I will watch TV. TV. ¿Se acuerdan de esto? El, el primer módulo. Yes. El primer eh, yes. nivel. Ok, very good. Después de eso, aprendieron el continuous. ¿Se acuerdan? Eh, past continuous, present continuous, future continuous. ¿Se acuerdan? Ok. Do you remember the past continuous? For example, hey, Carlos, what were you doing yesterday at 5 p.m.? I, I was working. Walking? Work, work, ah, working. Working. Ah, okay, very good. Working. I was working. Digamos que yo te llamo y en este momento estás trabajando. Hey, Carlos, what are you doing right now? Uh, I am working. Very good. What about the future? If I tell you, hey, Carlos, what are you going to do tomorrow or Saturday? Uh, I am going to uh, right. be work. You can do it like this. I buy a form. You can say, <clears throat> I will be working or I'm going Going to. to be working. Ok. Sabemos que es el futuro, ¿verdad? Es lo que vas a estar haciendo en el futuro. Ok. Uh -huh. Y ahora vamos a la clase de ahora. So tenemos past, simple past, simple present, simple future. Tres. Past continuous, present continuous, future continuous. Tres más son seis. Ahora vamos al present. ¿Verdad? So, uh, something for the present. I have to go to, to Google. Okay, so let me just go to Google. You have to use list of... Okay, for example, let me see if I have a list here. Para hacer el present continuous, el, el present perfect, okay, necesitamos conocer el, lo que se llama el past participle. So, for example, uh, the verb arise es levantar. Okay? Levantar. Arise. Arise. Uh, the past arose. Estos son, estos son verbos irregulares. And the past participle arisen. Arisen. Okay, another example. Base, base verb. Awake. Eh, despierto. The past awoke. And the past participle, a walking. A walking. All right, let me see. Otro ejemplo que tal vez van a recon reconocer. Let me see. No. Eh, break. No. Break es quebrar, right? What about the past? Broke. Broke. And the past participle? Broken. Broken. Okay, so, les estoy enseñando eso porque va a ser imposible. Que hagan, que hagan el perfect present o el present perfect sin el past participle. Ok. So, mm. les voy a mandar esta lista. Past participle. No pueden hacer ese, ese tiempo, no lo van a poder hacer ese verbo, no lo van a poder hacer sin el past participle. Ok, so let's go back to the lesson. We're going to study the present perfect. Eh, se lo, ya, ya, que, ya que les estaba enseñando, entonces, teacher, ¿cuál sería el present perfect? O el, uh, perdón, el, sí, el perfect. Ok. 
Quiero que entiendan algo que la palabra perfect en este contexto significa completo. Es una acción que comenzó y terminó. Okay. En ninguna de estas, eh, de los tiempos anteriores, yo tengo una acción completa. En el, en el ejemplo del present, simple present, simplemente I watch TV. Pero eso puede ser todos los días. Uh -huh. Es una costumbre mía, I watch TV. Ok. Um, el present continuous, I am working. Pero no sé cuándo va a terminar, porque simplemente me estás diciendo que estás trabajando. Okay. So, el present perfect es para hablar de acciones que ya terminaron, que comenzaron en un punto específico y que terminaron ya, que están completas. Por eso la palabra perfecta significa completa, complete. Ok. So, uh, eh, creo que aquí en nuestra lista, nuestra lista había la palabra... Eh, Eat. Okay. eat, present, el pasado de eat, eat, y el past participle, eaten. Ok, so vamos a usar ese ejemplo. I have eaten sushi. ¿Alguien ha comido sushi? Yes. ¿Anteriormente? Ok. No. Significa... Ah, va. Bueno, entonces... I have eaten sushi. So, ¿qué quiere decir esto? Simplemente que en, en, un, en un tiempo en el pasado, yo comí, empecé a comer sushi y terminé de comer sushi. Fue una acción completa. Fue una acción completa. ¿Entienden? Ok. So, ese es el present perfect. So, vamos a, vamos a ver la lección. ¿Qué nos enseña? Let's listen to the conversation and let's see if we can identify the present perfect. Ok. Tal vez ustedes pueden identificarlo aquí en la conversación. Uh, let me just share computer sound. Okay. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Let me go back to, to, the, to the conversation. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Okay, this is the conversation, okay? Maybe you can identify the past participle. ¿Lo pueden identificar? ¿Ya lo vieron? Aquí está la primera. Solo que está en forma de pregunta. Have you been... To New Orleans. Ahí está. So, been. ¿Cómo sé eso? Porque el past participle, si regreso a mi ejemplo que le di, necesita tener have. Okay? Y tiene que tener el past participle. Esas dos cosas son esenciales. Entonces, regresemos al video. Have. Y tiene been. Okay. Que es el past participle de be. Ok. Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Aquí viene otra. 
have you been to the jazz club? Okay, very good. Yeah, I have already been to one. Ahí está otra. Oh, well, mm -hmm. how about the river tour? I have already done that. Aquí está otra. Porque este es el past participle de do. Have you written, written in a streetcar? Aquí está otra. Why? Because this is the past participle and have. They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's, uh, nos quedan maybe three or four minutes. Uh, let me ask you a question, okay? And you can respond in complete sentence, okay? Voy a dejar de compartir. Okay, question, uh, Bessie. Have you been to Guatemala? No. Okay. No, I, I have never been to Guatemala. I, no, I have mm, not never, but okay. In this year, I never go to Guatemala. Okay, very good. So you can say, I have never gone to Guatemala. I have never gone to Guatemala on this year. This year, okay. But before, <laughs> yes, before you have yes. visited. Okay, so have you been to Guatemala before? Yes, in, I have in your been life? In, in Guatemala before. Very good. So, eso me da a entender de que desde este momento en el presente, hacia desde el momento que naciste, <laughs> si, vamos, si vamos para atrás en el tiempo, yo sé que en okay. algún momento... Tú fuiste y regresaste de Guatemala. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you been to Guatemala? Yes, I have been to Guatemala. Yes, I have been to Guatemala. Ahí estás usando el present perfect. Very good. Mm, okay. Carlos, have you been to Honduras? I have been. Have been uh, Oh, okay, so entonces tiene que ser en negativo. I, ha uh, I, I haven't been to Honduras. Uh, I haven't. I haven't. Uh -huh. I haven't been never to Honduras. Very good, very good. Okay, okay. Ada, let me ask you a question. Have you been to Nicaragua? Ada, creo que tiene un poco, ¿no escuchas? Sí, <laughs> es que la, la cámara se está congelando ella. Ok. I, I haven't. Ok, I haven't been. I haven't been never. Ok, very good. Ahí está. Another question. Eh, Betsy. Have you have you visited Pureza here in El Salvador? No, teacher. I never visited Pureza. Okay. Pureza is a, a place. It's an animal refuge mm -hmm. place. They have lions, tigers, many animals. Okay. Mm -hmm. Carlos, have you have you been to Fureza? I haven't never. I haven't been. I usa después de haven't el past participle. I haven't been. I haven't been. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ada. Uh, uh -huh. I'm sorry, Carlos. Del. Uh, Sería el, 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 el Dings, Ding me dijo, Dings. Pero sería el, el del pasado Bin. de Du, tú. Ajá, Bing. Ah, Bing. Uh -huh. 
I, I haven't have, been. I haven't been. Okay, very good. Okay. Ada, have you have you been to Fureza here in El Salvador? Como uh, digo que sí, I haven't been. I haven't been. No, I yes. haven't been. Como digo que he estado. Ah? I yes. haven't been. I haven't been. Have been. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I, ese, ese es el past participle. Tienen que usar have y el past participle. Tanto en la pregunta como en la respuesta. So, ese tiempo lo usamos para, para hablar de una acción que yo hice en el pasado y sé que ahora en el presente está completa. For example, I have been to Guatemala. I have visited Zoológico Aroa. I have been to Pureza. I have gone, el past participle de go, I have gone to Chalatenango. Okay? Very good. Para eso lo usamos, el present perfect. Okay? So, in section five, you're going to study the present perfect. All right, questions? Preguntas? Uh, solo una teacher. Una pregunta, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, después del have been, el verbo lo puedo, tengo que utilizarlo siempre en pasado o puede ser con IN. Por ejemplo, si no, yo digo, el verbo siempre I va have a ser... been studying. Ah, pero ese es otro, otro verb tense. Ese no nos vamos a meter ahí todavía porque ese es más avanzado. Uh, ese, en inglés uh, hay... Tiene que ser algo que, que hice. Tiene, uh -huh. tiene que usar después de have usar el past participle. Por eso le di la lista allí okay. en WhatsApp de la lista de los past participles. Uh -huh. okay. I have gone. Okay. I have visited. I have been. Okay. Tiene que usar el past participle. All right, very good. Questions? Okay. No? All right. No. Try, try to go to section five, look at the video, and practice the conversation, and then eh, van a desarrollar más ese tema del present perfect. All right, very good. Good job. Okay, okay see you tomorrow. I uh, see you Monday, okay. next week. Okay. See you on Bye. Monday, first okay. Time. Bye. Take care. Bye.